Hello everybody, I am Brayman19 and welcome to a brand new series in our Napoleon Total War campaign playthroughs. This time we'll be doing the Great Britain campaign of the Coalition. This, of course, we'll just be calling it the British campaign. And uh, as you can see, it's got some pretty cool stuff. So anyways, let's jump right on in. We are led by George III and the start year is 1805, just like all the other ones. Our nation description, Great Britain is a constitutional monarchy, a nation of free trade and personal liberty. Its people are seemingly devoted to making money and disliking foreigners in equal measure. Foreigners are quite simply just not very good at anything, be that running an empire or making a decent pie. Britons make no secret of their prejudice, a crass attitude that makes diplomacy difficult. The English, as much to the annoyance of the Scots, Everyone calls them are disliked in every court in Europe for this arrogance and their willingness to let everyone else do all the finding and dying against the French. The apparent truth of this last point has been a gift to Bonaparte. If the British do have a truly visceral dislike, then it would be the French, thanks to traditional rivalry and a genuine horror at the consequences of the French Revolution. While many British politicians were pleased to see an end to the Bourbon monarchy, they were repulsed by the insatiable bloodshed of the terror and fearful that the infection of revolution might cross the English Channel, with or without French bayonets to help it along. Invasion is a constant fear and as always, an enemy in control of the Low Countries is enough to scare London. Britain's position in 1805 is better than might be expected, but not due to its own efforts. Napoleon has managed to upset almost every other nation in Europe with his high-handedness. This is an opportunity for the British to build a new alliance, although this will mean paying handsome subsidies to its partners. As long as the Royal Navy can keep control of the seas, Britain is safe from invasion. But without a substantial army and continental allies, this counts for little against France. Britain can contribute to the downfall of France, but needs time and resolve to muster its strength. Napoleon may not grant that time. So, we are doing the historical game mode with vi uh, victory conditions just to capture 20 regions, including the Balearic Isles right here, England, which we already will have owned, Hanover, which is an old uh, province that we used to own, Provence, which is right here, uh, Spain, which is here, of course, Denmark, and then Brittany, or Bretagne, as they call it. And uh, this is pretty much just all of us right here already. And uh, we had to do that by the end of uh, late December 1812. I'm going to tell you, I, I'm really going to be focusing on really just the, kind of just this area. I'm going to try to take out France and take out Spain and all their little allies. And then that's just the way I'm going to end it. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Napoleon and his godless revolutionaries have no respect for the status quo. They insist on meddling with the balance of power on mainland Europe. Defenseless Liguria has been annexed by France, and such behavior cannot be tolerated. As a result, Great Britain has joined forces with Austria and Russia to oppose French continental ambitions. Sweden, Portugal, and the smaller Italian states have vowed to aid the struggle. But the three great powers must take most of the strain in opposing this monstrous revolutionary threat. Whilst Austria and Russia attempt to deal with Napoleon on the fields of Bavaria, you must ensure that his navy is kept in check. Admiral Villeneuve's fleet must be intercepted by the Royal Navy, lest the armies of France march on British shores. Then, ensure blockades are maintained across all French ports. Finally, your long-standing ally Portugal must be aided in pushing through into occupied Spain, opening a second front and splitting the might of Napoleon's armies. All right. So let's take a look here. There's several different ways I can go about this. But let's just first take a look at all of our own allies. So we are allied to Austria, the Kingdom of Sicily, Naples, Russia, and Sweden at the start. We're at war with France, Bavaria, Kingdom of Italy, Spain, Batavian Republic, the Swiss Confederation, and Baden-Württemberg. And, of course, we trade with uh, Austria, Denmark, Sweden, and the Ottoman Empire. So we got to find a way. Well, first off, I think I need to figure out who I should be trading with. Prussia? Yes. We need to be propping them up. 
Yes, trade with them is great. Russia trading with you is great also. That maintains our nice alliance. Um, anybody else? Mecklenburg is friendly and so is Portugal. Portugal, you need to be definitely a uh, trade deal with you. And then we'll do the same with Mecklenburg. Uh, so that's all the trade I can get. Um, you know, Portugal, it'd be great if we were allied. Um, I would protect you and you would kind of help me, but of course I do have a way in. I just got to get past all the Spanish. Recruitment down here would be line infantry for the most part, at least at the start. And I do not like the fact that militia is the only thing guarding that. Um, we do have a navy led by Horatio Nelson with a 122 gun frigate. Uh, 106 gun first rate, a 98 gun second rate, two 98 gun second rates, an 80 gun third rate, and then a 74 gun uh, third uh, rate. It's the queen. Let's see. Fleet ready. And there's William Cornwallis. Let's take this guy into here. I think it's more important to get all my guys together into port for now. I don't trust our ability to stop them at sea just yet. You can see we're doing a little bit of trade up here. Let's see, that's to Savannah, that's to Norfolk, Baltimore, and to Boston. What's out here? St. Augustine, Florida. Recife, I don't know where that's at. Santos, don't know. Calcutta, Cameroon's town, and Casablanca. Or on. Is there any more up here? Don't look like it. I just want to see. I might be able to dominate trade those ways as well. Okay. First things first. Let's make. Let's double check our armies. If it's militia on the main islands, it needs to go. I've got to get something. Uh, state. Uh, I guess stateside. No, not stateside, but down here. Uh, six pounder. You've got a six pounder. Okay. Got to get something on the continent. There you go. Lion infantry. I'll end up probably creating just like a small tin stack for this over here. But for now, I'm not too worried about it. You. We're going to put you on that. Okay, I am going to go ahead and set the policies for taxes and construction. Dockyard and trading ports. Dockyard and trading ports. I think I already have a dockyard, don't I? Trading ports, I, I see. I got three of those. Yeah, okay. More of those. That's fine. Um, actually, no. We're going to make this to a dockyard. And that can be a trading port. A supply post. Eventually that ends up making a lot of sense. We need to come down here. Um, put a trading port there. Maybe we can try to get this to have a little bit more money. I'm not going to get rid of its troop just yet. You already have something there. You have nothing. You can be a manufacturer or a gunsmith. I like the idea of... Manufactories make me more money, so we'll go with that. Iron mine. There's nothing else out here. He'll get done later on. I'm not worried about him out here. Just this guy. What do I want to do? Supply post or a market? Supply will eventually allow me to... I mean, one's money and one will allow me to recoup troops on the continent. And I think recouping the troops is more important. Yeah. Otherwise, I won't be able to continue to fight. As for you... 
I want you to come right here. Stealth is my cloak. Your Majesty. Oh, I got a whole great unit of these guys right here. All right. Yeah, there's Wellesley. Okay, I was like wondering where he might be. The Lord? I cannot do that. By the left. Sir, your ah. orders. At the ready. Coming down here to Wellesley. Sir. There's one there. Oh no, wait, you're here. Never mind. Yes. One there. Is there any more coming down? Don't feel like it. Yeah, okay. So we'll just create units here and send them across to Wellesley. We'll give him a full 20 stack. He only needs nine more for that. And then we'll probably do a quick invasion of, like, Brittany. And we can turn that immediately into a, uh, a subject protectorate right there. Be the quickest way to get something done. And then I can come out here and take... I can, I don't know, I might, tra you know, traverse through over here, try to knock out some of these other little guys. You know, get rid of, like, Batavian Republic. Go ahead and create another seagoing nation right there to help me combat for the seas. Um, do the same thing here with Brussels. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Let's see what happens. Oh, uh, the opening turn. The AI just runs everywhere. Go Spain. All right, Confederation of the Rhine has been formed. Yep, they just absol they just dissolved in him. The Ottoman Empire and Austria at war. We're not going to really worry about that right this second. Send them there. How much are we making right now? 2848, that's not very good. Um, we could build Nelson's Column. Negative 10% upkeep cost for all naval units. I don't really want that. If I'm being honest, I don't want that. You could build a couple things. You could just build a theater on you. Well, I need to build an iron mine there anyway. Um, I don't know what I want to build here. Allow fencibles. I'm sure, you allow fencibles only. Hmm. Yeah, fencibles are just militia. We'll go with the cantonment. All right, that's fine. Oh, hello. Clear decks for battle. Shadowing the target. Ship's orders received. There we go, just a quick little check through there. Hmm. I can't afford Lord? nine troops right now. I'd love to, but I can't. What is my infrastructure like? 500? Yeah, basic roads everywhere should be enough. Only place I can't do it is down here, where I feel like I'm most weak. Okay.
Hmm. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. All right. Um. Still probably not making anywhere near enough. Yeah, three. Yeah, thirty fifty-two. I mean, how much is each one? I need to see the cost per turn. It cost me well about eighteen hundred. I mean, take me a few turns to get them. So. There's five right there. We'll order four more in the next. Anything Another more? Mission. See, I'm not actively going to hit France just yet. I'm gonna start spying, focusing on my economy. My economy is really crap, and that's probably a lot because of my ships. There's a lot of ships that I really just don't want nor need. And as the admirals die, I'll probably end up just getting rid of them. Yes, my lord. As you wish. Dang it. He did not do a good job trying to get in. Okay. That looks good. I think we're good on that end right there. So I've got all the troops ready to be built. And they'll be able to cross, I think. Said so I'd want them to be... Preferably here. Now go straight for that. I don't think I create, could create a nation out of Normandy, honestly. What we get built? A couple other things. Okay. Making 31, one, uh, 31 19. Is there anybody I could work with some somewhere? No. There's just no more money to be had. I think Brit Britain has a, probably the hardest start. Based off what I've seen now, I feel like they've got the hardest start. Okay. By the left. March. There are quite a few recruited. That's good news. Making twenty three sixty five now. Anything I really want to do now? No, not really. I mean, down here is okay. I hate it. we're about it's about we're about to lose this. That's unfortunate. I don't know if there's any way I can get with Spain and have that not happen. Yeah, that's I should just probably go ahead and give that up. Come down and just expect to fix it up later. Did I spend any money other than just on this? No, there's nothing else to spend money on. Um, I think we're good there. All right. Um, Sir, your orders? Those five there. We should have four more being built. Yes. And probably want to go ahead and just spend it all there. All right, in the turn. There's a French navy's coming in. See the Russians doing some things, not much. 
In my experience, the Russians don't help a whole lot here. Like, I think I did more as when I was playing as the, the Russians than they ever did. Land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time and produce trading. That's enough out of you. Um, still waiting here. Oh, I thought I had gotten another spy. Guess not. All these roads just finished up. We'll let these guys do what they want. I don't think they spent a dime. And now that the French Navy has moved into town, we'll have to find a way around that. I think it might be worth it if I go ahead and move those troops to the eastern side. Like to the eastern port. I don't know what he's doing, but scare me. What'd that do? Research. What, what did I do here? Upkeep costs and then five uh, per town. Wow, nice. Only 1832, but we'll figure it out. Um, okay, we got everybody together. No ships there. All right, the army will march in to Brussels, and we'll end up making that into something. But that's going to wait for next time. So we did make a little bit, not doing a ton, but it's the first. Ep it's the first episode. It always goes like this. So, all right, guys, well, I'm going to end it right here. I appreciate y'all so much for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check out a link for Discord in the description below, and I'll see you all next time.